Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Teacher. Fine, teacher. Excellent. How are you? Fine. Well, I had a reunion. I have, I had, I had a reunion with uh, parejas. How do you say parejas? Couples. With, uh -huh, with couples in the, the, also the church. And the, the reunion is from seven to nine. And I say, I have to go 15 minutes now because I have a class. And then I was yeah. You had to hurry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I'm glad to have you here. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. How are you doing, Roberto? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. You? Excellent, I'm doing well, thanks. How was your day? Good. Very good. All right. March. Sorry. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. Good evening, Mauricio. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. How's it going, Mauricio? Monday? How's it going? How are you? Fine. Thanks. Thanks, God. Everything fine. Okay. Excellent. And how was work? Thank you. Uh, I'm no, I'm no work today. Oh, you didn't work? All right. Um, That's good. Yeah, I didn't work. Yes. <laughs> I didn't work. It's my off day. Great. That's very nice. Yes. You have some, some time to rest. Yes, I have time to watch. Now he's Oh, yes, yes. Yes, it's my rest. My rest day. So I have time to watch. And I'm working in the platform, and and then watch uh, the my favorite uh, equipment or my favorite uh, yeah. team, Me, like a team, a soccer yeah. team or my something like that. Team. Football team. Okay, that's Football cool. Team. Right, yes. that's nice. Okay. Okay. How yes. was your day, Arturo? Oh, everything okay. All right, did you work today? Yes, uh, middle time. Okay. So you worked the whole week from Monday to Saturday or something? Um, yes, oh. I have to work. Okay, so that's nice. Um, I just got in the chat this question, how is it going? So that's another way to say, how are you? Esa sería otra forma de decir, ¿cómo estás? How are you? How is it going? Okay. How's it going? Yes, you can also ask like, um, how are you doing? Esa sería otra, how are you doing? Uh -huh. And then we have some others that are pretty informal, like what's up, right? What's up? Like that will be for friends what's mainly. Up? Hey, what's up, yo? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like Yolanda. Yeah, something like that. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I don't ask you that way, right? <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> So what's the weather like where you live? Is it raining? Yeah, it's raining. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's raining here too. It isn't raining where you live, Loren? 
Oh, yeah, it's yeah. raining cats and dogs here. Yeah. yeah, here where I live, it's raining very hard and it's been, um, well, we, we have a terrible storm with some lightning and thunder. So I was kind of worried about the classes because of the internet connection, but it's been fine. So far so good. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. Good evening. No, no problem, teacher. Try to do the, the exercise with the map, but I think that it's something. I don't know. Lorena. I cannot hear you well. Le escucho bien bajito. Let me. Yeah, it's better. Okay. I try to do the exercise you send by the telephone morning yes. about the map, but I think that, that there is a problem with the streets or something because I, I couldn't. I you, couldn't. You couldn't figure it out. That exercise, oh. I tried, but I. Some some streets I don't I didn't uh, find them. Oh okay. Mm -hmm. So yes, I had already checked those exercises and they are fine except for the second one in the second part. I think the one that gives you directions to move around in the map. Yeah, that. So that. the second one is kind of tricky. Sí, el segundo I, de esos ejercicios. Okay. But how about the other exercises? Pero creo que los otros sí estaban comprensibles, ¿verdad? Ese sí, incluso yo lo encontré bastante confuso. Sin embargo, sí da la dirección correcta. Creo que lo, solo lleva un como, ¿qué era? Um, cross the, the road, creo que lo repite. Y entonces ahí pues, tiende uno a confundirse. Uh -huh. Pero sí, creo que los demás están bastante buenos para practicar, ¿verdad? Yes. Oh, yeah. It's a good practice. Good evening, Ana Ruth. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. Hi, Noemi, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi, Naomi. Hi, Hi Naomi. Hi. How are you doing? I have a headache. Oh, that's oh. so bad. Take some pills. Okay, so I think we may start. So let's see, first of all, tell me, do you have any questions about any of the exercises in the platform or any of the topics we have been studying? Oh. No questions? No questions. Okay. No questions. Very good. So then let's start by talking about great days. So what makes a great day? In my case, I think that what makes a great day is having a free day, right? Not having to work. <laughs> What's yeah. another thing that makes a great day for you? When I want to eat with someone. Oh, go out to eat. Mm -hmm. With someone. Mm -hmm. What else? Play with my kids. Play with your kids. Mm -hmm. Any other thing? Get out. No. Wake up late. Can you repeat it, please? Wake up late. Um, sorry, wake couldn't. Wake up late. Oh, wake, wake up, up late. Thanks. Wake up late. Yes, that's very nice, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Any other thing that makes a great day? <laughs> Mm 
I am visited and my parents. Is it my parents? Get up late. Yes, wake up late or get up late. Um, los voy a poner acá juntos. Um, recordemos que wake up es despertarse, despertarse tarde, wake up late, y get up late, levantarse tarde, right? So they mean almost the same. Okay. So we have another thing that makes a good day. How about the, the one you were mentioning, Mauricio? Having time to watch the soccer team uh, or the, the yes. soccer match, right? Soccer match. Uh, have time to watch. A soccer match. A soccer match. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Any other? Uh, when lose the Real Madrid. Oh, okay. <laughs> when Real Madrid loses. Yes. Okay. When when lose. <laughs> okay. It's a great day for me. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now let's talk about the opposite. What makes a bad day? Here I have an example, and it will be to spill my coffee. Spill will be derramar, derramar mi café or botar mi café, right? That will be pretty bad for me. Okay. <laughs> Any other thing that makes a bad day for you? Um. Well, if you go late out to uh, society and it is um, too much, Okay, so get late to some place. Close a case. And also lose lose case. Lose the case. Okay. Yes. So find um, traffic. Then lose the case. I lose my case. Okay, any other thing? Uh, hot day. <laughs> okay, so when it's a hot day. Mm -hmm. You know how money? Not have money. Yes. When I am sick, get sick, right? Or to feel sick. When feel sick. Yes. Any other thing? Receive uh, electrical shock. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's pretty it's bad. bad even electric. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, shock, I think. <laughs> okay. All right. So now that we have some ideas about the things that make a good day or a bad day, we are going to go to the breakout rooms and we are going to practice by making questions with this information. For example, let's see, Arturo, did you have a free day today? No. No, you didn't, okay. I had to work. You had to work. All right, did you go out to it with someone today? Uh, no. All right. I stayed home. You just stayed home. Okay, so that's what you have to do. You make questions about the good day or bad day things. And then you receive the answers from your classmates. You take turns, okay? Let me just send okay. a picture to the chat so you have this information. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
All right, there you have it. So I'm sending you the invitation for the breakout rooms right now. There you are. your day hey. um oh really good thank you how about you lorena i'm just running from here to here but it's fine it's a, a day okay wednesday always is a day that i have to do too many things okay to begin? i'm fine vamos a i started Homework. Yeah. Come on. It's great. Okay. Let me see that. My day, my day is, is good. Very Bye. good. Thank you. You have a free day today? A free? A free day that you didn't work? Yes, because I seek. Mm. And um, recuperation. <laughs> every day. Teacher. Uh, yes, every day. Puede ser negative, negative or positive. The answer. Yes. Yes, the answer depends on you, okay? Just make the question and the answer depends oh. on you. Hmm? Okay. For example, Gracias. for example, I have a free day. In positive is yes, I have a free day, right? Yes, I had a free day. Remember to change the verb, I had. I had, okay. Mm -hmm. I have. In, ne in negative uh, is uh, I didn't a free day. I didn't have a free day, exactly. I didn't have a free day. Yes, remember free. about the verb. Oh. Okay. Sí, siempre I... aunque usemos did, necesitamos un verbo, incluso en los casos donde usamos el verbo do, mm -hmm. que a veces sonaría como que se repite, pero no, porque estamos usando el did como auxiliar. Por ejemplo, cuando digo, I didn't do the laundry, I didn't do. Ahí estamos utilizando el did como auxiliar y el do. Lo, lo volvemos a poner porque la acción de la que estoy hablando es do laundry. I didn't do laundry. I didn't do my homework. ¿Ok? Es el verbo. ¿eh? Yes. Ok. Thanks, teacher. Mm. Play soccer, entonces. Have a free day. Play soccer. <laughs> y Play soccer. Feel my... Y what may uh, about the eh, eh, en cuál está ahorita en la eh, la otra sería entiendo que what what make a bad day a bad day es así eh, sería tener un mal día Eh, o, sí. o sería o, o sería no un día agradable o eh, cosas que, sería que como, no fueron positivas exactamente sería como decir qué cosas no te qué cosas te arruinan el día por así decirlo <risa> qué cosas te arruinan el día what makes a bad day uh -huh. y ahí pero en el caso que ya están yes. En el caso que ya están ahí, teacher, eh, este, ¿cómo se llama? Ahí ya, ya está la eh, formulada la pregunta, ¿verdad? Exactly. You just make a, a question with that information. Just make a question. 
con esa información okay. vamos a ir haciendo preguntas como Did you spill your coffee today? Did you spill your coffee today? Did you get late to some place? Did you find yes. traffic? And so on, okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Entonces... Okay. First, first word. Let's first let's work the great day, right? Uh, we have the first. And the first is didn't have a free day or. Sí, sí está lloviendo bastante y se está tronando mucho. Okay. Sí, pero, pero sí se escucha bien. Okay. Do you go out eat with someone? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Do you play with my kid? Your kid, sería. Ajá, sería your. Your, yeah, ajá, your. Yes, I did. Your. Okay. Did you make out late or get out late? No, I didn't. I wake up very early. Very, very temprano. Es <laughs> <laughs> es um, Do you do you sería, visit your parents? Sería, sería did you, verdad? Huh? Did you sería estamos en el pasado. Sí, sí Ajá, perdón. Como el auxiliar did. en el pasado. Ajá. Oh, sí. Did you visit your parents? Your, par your parents? No, I didn't. Okay. Oh. The next. Let me get some. Some. Cuando se me bloquea, ahí está. Uh -huh. yeah. Did you have time to watch a soccer match? No, no, I didn't. Uh, do you, did you read Madrid last? Sí, hasta no, no le encuentro sentido. No, esa no, esa no. In that case, you can say, did Real Madrid lose? Did Real perdió? Madrid lose? Uh -huh, perdió el Real Madrid? Like, mm, yeah, you can say just yes, it <laughs> yes. did or no, it didn't. If you're not a yes. soccer. Ya, ya está haciendo una tradición. <laughs> <laughs> <It's kidding. laughs> yeah, it's okay. I'm not into soccer. I don't like soccer, so it's fine. You can say it. <laughs> I, uh, I am Real Madrid super. Uh, oh. Ya no lo veo mucho. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, do, you spill, uh, do you spill my, your coffee? Hola. Ay, me acordaba del, del café, no lo copié. ¿Qué significaba el, ah, derramar el café? Derramar. No, I didn't. Uy, ya no vas a sacar. Ajá. Uh -huh. Oh, you no. got 50 seconds. Okay. Get. pregunta es tú? Did you get late to some place? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. Did, did you find traffic? ¿Qué significa esta? El tráfico. ¿Encontraste tráfico? Fine. Mm. Uh -huh. Did you yeah. find? No, time? I didn't. I know. <laughs> no, sorry. I, I, I am go. I didn't go I out. Go. I didn't go out. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, we'll now. We are here. <laughs> All right, so we're back. So how about your days? Were they good or bad? What do you say? Good. You had good days? Yeah. Yes? Good day. Excellent. We have a good day. Okay, that's pretty cool. So um, do you have any questions about how to make any of those um, questions? Do you have any doubts or anything? 
No. Okay, I just wanted to mention about no, no one. the one that says, go ahead, Arturo. Oh, sorry, I, I can catch. Will you repeat, please? Oh, yes, I was asking you if you had any doubts about how to make any of those questions. Mm. No doubts, no yeah. questions? No, no questions. Okay, good. So I just wanted to tell you about the one that says Real Madrid lose. In that case, yeah. the question would be, did Real Madrid lose, right? Perdió el Real Madrid, did Real Madrid lose? And then you answer, right? Yes, it did or no, it didn't? Yes. Yes, it did. <laughs> yes, yes, it did. Always. Usual, right? Yes, they, yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> Always. This is, this is my great day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Of course, yes. So, and also about the hot day. In el caso de hot day, no utilizamos el auxiliar did, sino que tendríamos que formularlo con was. Was it a hot day today? Was it a hot day was. today? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. All right. Oh. So, oh. You. oh By watching this video that will talk about the simple present in the affirmative statement. So let's, let's get started no, no, by no. practice. I know it's cannot you. see it. Can you see it? Yes. A little bit. Yes. Yeah, it's kind of blurry. I don't know what to do to to make it better, but let's just listen to the examples and the explanation. And then we are going to review it and check the examples in the presentation. Okay. So please listen and pay attention in these statements in the past. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Watched. W A T C H E D. What? Exercise. Exercised. E X E R C I S E. E D Study Studied S T U D I E D Stay Stayed S T A Y E D Shop Shopped S H O P P E D Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started with positive statements. Before I start though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right hand side of the chart. When talking about the past, and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense, and we can do this by simply adding ed. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past by simply adding ed. On a different class. Okay, so it talks about the, the affirmative statements in the past and how to change the verbs, right? So what do I need to do in order to make a verb a past? What do I need? 
Wash it. Wash it. Okay, so for example, in the case of watch, I change it in. I wash it. Watched. So that means watched. that I add ed, right? Y yes. So the the um, rule says that you have to add ed to the most of the verbs, but we have some special cases. For example, here in the case of exercise, what do I need? Exercise. 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 So what do I e. add? I have the verb exercise, e. and then I only add a D. So that happens. E. I have verbs that end in E. Con los verbos que terminan en E, solamente agrego la D. No es necesario yes. que vamos a agregar ED. It's okay to only add the D. Teacher. Se ve borroso. Oh, yeah, I forgot something. Let me fix it. El... There we are. <clears throat> Is it better now? Sí, yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, yes, teacher. Yeah, ya descubrí que cuando comparto videos tengo que marcar unas opciones que cuando comparto presentación no deberían estar, por eso es que se that's a problemita but now i know how to fix yes, it teacher. okay so we said that in the case of watch we add ed and it becomes watched right watch. just add ed watch. But... in the case of exercise because it ends in e we only need the d so it becomes exercise Exercise. D. Okay. Only add the D, right? Then we have the case of study. What do I do there? Study. Study. I-E. Study. I-E-D, I -E right? So I change it to I-E-D. -E so that means that I have to drop the Y and I have to add I-E-D. En este caso de study, quitamos la Y y en lugar de la Y ponemos IED, IED. But then we have the verb stay. What happens in that case? Stay. I only need ED, right? ED. Stayed. So why do I only add ed if it ends in y? ED. Study does, right? ¿Por qué, eh, solo cambiamos, ¿Por qué solo agregamos ed si es el mismo caso de study? Terminan en y. Do you know the answer? La vocal. Exactly. Now what? Yes. Yes. Here we have a combination of vowel plus y. And in the case of study, we have a consonant plus y. De eso dependerá que cambiemos la y o que solo agreguemos ed. Si tengo una consonante antes de la y, entonces lo cambio for ied. If I have a vowel before the y, then I only need ed. Okay? Okay. okay. All right, and then we have some other verbs where we need to double the last consonant. For example, yeah. in the case of shop, shopped, double T. So shopped. we double the last consonant. Okay, any questions about this? What happened? Okay. I, no I did I did trouble with this verb in the platform. Oh, you had trouble with this? Yes. So with the P. With the the letter P. 
the letter P over here? I, ju I, I just one. It's double. Um, yes, exactly. So we have some verbs that need double, double consonants at the end. Eh, son pocos los yeah. verbos en los que hacemos este cambio de agregar doble consonante, pero si los hay, ya vamos a ver un par más de ejemplos donde en definitiva tenemos que eh, duplicar la última consonante. So, any questions? No? Any questions? So far, no so questions. good? Okay. So, let's continue. Now I have a list of verbs that we are going to change into past. So for that, we are going to use the chat. Please open your chat, Kev. And let's see, we are going to be writing the past form of the verbs. For example, the first one, walk, walked. Lorena, can you write the next one, please? Cook. Mauricio, take care of business, please. Okay. Arturo, start. Start. Okay, write it, please. Then we have Roberto, take care of finish. Finish, Okay, can you write it in the chat, please? Lo vamos escribiendo en el chat, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay, don't worry. Noemi, take care of the verb live. And Carla, you take care of like. Ana Ruth, close. And Laura, arrive. Let's see, Laura, can you write the past of the verb arrive? Thank you. Okay, here we go again. Um, okay, so Lorena, continue with the verb dance. Mauricio, cry. Noemi, try. Ana Ruth, carry. Laura, play. Roberto, enjoy. Arturo, stay. Okay. Wow. Very good. Let's see. Noemi, can you add the past of stop, please? Okay. In that case, Noemi, we need a double P, okay? Double P, stop. Very good. Carla Enriquez. Mm. Can you write the past of plan? Okay. Ana Ruth, add the past of prepare, please. Mauricio, can you write the past of job? All right, so let's check. So in the first one, we only need ED, right? Walk, walked. Then we have cook, cooked. Visit, visited. Start, started. Finish, finished. Live, lived. Like, liked. Close, closed. Arrive, arrived. 
dance, danced. Here we have cry and we need to change it. Well, we need to drop the Y and change it to IED, right? Cried. Right. It's the same case for tried. I carry carried. Okay. Play played. Play. Enjoy enjoyed. Then we have the verb stay, stayed. Okay. In the case of stop, we need a double P, stopped. The same happens to plan. We need to double the last consonant. It becomes planned, preferred. Has a double R too. And jog, those with double G, jogged. Any questions, any doubts? No questions. Okay, pretty good. Do you know the meaning of the word or of the verb job? Mm -hmm. For example, um, you can jog in the morning, like jogging is not running, but slower, trotar. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, so now I need you to repeat what? 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 Okay, es importante el sonido final en estos verbos porque si nos fijamos, lo que hace la diferencia entre el presente y el pasado es simplemente esa pronunciación de la ED, ¿verdad? Like in this case, walk, in the present, walk, walk. In the past, it becomes walk, walk. Ese sonido de ch que le agregamos al final es lo que nos hace la diferencia. Entonces hay que pronunciarlo eh, lo más claramente que se pueda para que no nos confundamos si estamos hablando en presente o en pasado. Okay, now say cooked. 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 Oh. Visit, visited, 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 visited. started, 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 started. Okay, and another thing to take into account, the words that start with S need that pronunciation at the beginning, okay? So please say started. 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 Yeah, esa S al inicio es importante pronunciarla. Um, no se dice como una E, como algunas veces se nos sale decir start, right? But it's not pronounced like that. We should say start. Start, right? Started. In the past, started. Okay, now say finished. 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 Lived. 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 Liked. 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 Closed. 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 Arrived. 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 Danced. 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 Cried. 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 Right. Right. right, carried, 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 played, played, enjoyed, enjoyed, enjoyed. stayed, stayed, stopped, stopped, stopped. planned, planned. planned. Preferred. 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 Jogged. 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 Okay, pretty well. So now we are going to 
to take a look at the simple past affirmative sentences. So let's start with an example in the simple present. So in the simple present, we have the sentence, I work every day, I work every day, or for the third person, I need to change it to works, right? She works every day. I work every day or she works every day. That will be in the simple present. So what happens in the past? Well, I need to change the verb. What do I need? I add ed, okay? I added ed to the verb and it becomes worked. I worked hard last week. I worked hard last week. And then the good news is that it doesn't change for the third person. It remains the same. So we say, I worked hard last week and she worked hard last week. So it doesn't change. No se cambia dependiendo de las personas. No importa si es he, she, it. Siempre va a ser worked. Okay? So okay. always remember, you have to change the verb for um, indicating that you are talking about the past. Worked, right? Work, worked. And then the structure that we use in order to make affirmative sentences in the simple past is the following. First, we need a subject, then we need a verb ending in ed, in this case, of the regular verbs. And after that, we only add a complement and a period, which is really important. Here I have some other examples. We wanted some French fries. We wanted some French fries. Can you help me to read the next one, Roberto? He washed the dish last night. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see, Arturo, can you help me with the other example, please? You arrived at eight. Thank you. So as you see, we have verbs ending in ed, wanted, washed, arrived. We wanted some French fries. He washed the dishes last night. You were right at eight. Now it's time to practice. We are going to talk about the things that we did yesterday. So think about something you did, first of all. For example, you can say, yesterday I studied for the exam. I studied for the exam. So that will be my sentence. Then Arturo is going to continue by repeating my sentence in the negative. So that will be like, I didn't study for the exam. I didn't study for the exam, but I, and then you add another sentence, okay? But I played with my kids, but I drank some coffee, but I, what, stayed but home? I watch TV. Okay, you watch TV, excellent. All right, so you continue, um, let's see, Lorena. So you repeat what Arturo said, but in the negative, and then you add your sentence. Vamos repitiendo la oración del compañero en negativo y vamos agregando nuestra propia oración en el pasado. Uh, watch TV. I did watch TV. I, yeah. didn't, I didn't watch TV yesterday, but I went to go to eat at a restaurant. Very good. Mauricio, continue. I didn't, I didn't go to the restaurant, mm -hmm. but I, I washed my car. Very good. Ana Ruth, continue, please. Repeat, please. I didn't go to a restaurant, but I washed my car. I didn't wash my car, but I, I played with my kids. 
Okay, very good, Anahut. Roberto, can you continue, please? Sorry, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Repeat, please. I didn't uh, wash my car, but, but I played with my kids. Play? I did. I did play children with my kids. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. But I. But I. I swim in the pool. You swam in the pool. Yes. Okay. But Very good. I, I swam in the pool. Excellent. Noemi, continue. Repeat, please. But I swam in the pool. But I swam in the pool. Swam is el pasado de swim. Let me write it here. I didn't swim in the pool. I rode a bike. Okay, you rode a bike. Very good, Noemi. Continue, Carla. I didn't row, right? Ride the what, the bike car, the like the bike, the bike, and the bike. But I, but I studied in the platform. In the platform, very good. Let's see Platform. who's missing. Let's see. Everybody has participated. No, oh, Laura, it's your turn. I didn't. I didn't study in the platform, but I. But I ran. You run. Okay. Excellent. So you that's run. how we make the statements in the simple past, right? We have the negative didn't or did not. And then in the affirmative, we need to change the verb. Um, igual, mañana vamos a ver un poquito más de los verbos irregulares. Que serían, por ejemplo, estos de swim y write que cambian por completo. No es como el, en los regulares que solo se les agrega ed o de, dependiendo del, del tipo de verbo que tengamos. En los casos de los irregulares, cambian por completo. Um, like in the case of swim, swam, ride, rode, drink, drunk. Okay, so tomorrow we are going to study some more. Drink, drunk. Drink, drunk. Hmm? Okay, so I think, yeah, we have some minutes. So let's talk about the pronunciation for the ED verbs. So we have um, the lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when using regular simple path verbs. So we have the ED ending pronunciation, and we have three different kinds of sounds. Tenemos tres sonidos distintos para la pronunciación del ED. Como les decía, esto es muy importante porque esta sería la diferencia que hacemos entre el presente y el pasado. So it's necessary that you pronounce it the right way, okay? So the first kind of pronunciation that we have is D. D. Can you repeat it, please? D. 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 As in the verb enjoyed. Enjoyed. Enjoy. 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 And we have planned. 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 Okay. Another pronunciation that the ED may take is the t. 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 Repeat it, please. T. Please. 
Okay, as finished. in the verb finished, 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 or fixed, fixed, fixed. 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 Okay, fixed. so the reason I'm touching my throat is because in this case of the sound d, d, you feel some vibration, but in this one, you don't feel anything, right? Ok, me ven con los dedos acá en la garganta porque eh, si habrán visto el video de Mr. Science, ahí él explica un poco sobre los voiceless sounds y los voice counts. Entonces, eh, en el caso de los voice sounds, vamos a tener la terminación d, d. Si se fija, cuando tocamos la garganta al pronunciar eso, sentimos un poco de vibración. D, d. Enjoyed. 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 Planned. 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 Si se siente la vibración, ¿cierto? Planned. Yes. yes. Okay. Finish. So that would be a voice sound. Eso explica cómo diferenciamos los sonidos. Y va a depender, el, eh, la pronunciación final va a depender del sonido que tenemos antes del ED. Porque acá de igual forma se pronuncia enjoy, siente vibración, right? Enjoy. Plan. Enjoy. Plan. Enjoy. Plan. Enjoy. Plan. Sin agregar el ED. Enjoy. Entonces enjoy. lo complementamos con el D, que también sería para voice sounds. And then we have the voiceless sound. Tenemos el sonido voiceless, que sería T. Con ese no sentimos ninguna vibración, right? No, right? The same goes for finish. Finish. Cuando decimos finish, finish. 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 no vibration, right? Or fix. Fix. No vibration. Then we add the two sound and it continues like that. Finished. 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 Fixed. 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 Okay. And then we also have a third sound, which is id, id, id. as in the case of id. started, id. started, started. Um, started. started. Or, or painted, 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 painted. Okay, in el caso del último sonido, id, sería para los verbos que terminan en t o en d, un sonido de t o de d. Y para los otros sí tenemos algunas terminaciones ya definidas, pero en realidad son bastantes. Abran, no sé si ya vieron el video, igual mañana vamos a repasar eso en la plataforma para que podamos identificar. Hay terminaciones definidas para cada uno de estos, de estos sonidos. Pero eh, como les digo, acá es una lista de determinaciones bastante larga, la más eh, corta y más fácil de aprender sería la de it, que es para los verbos it. que terminan en T o en D. Started, painted, ended. Okay. All right. Do we have any questions about this? No questions? No questions. So far, so good? Okay. okay. Maybe. All right, so that will be all for today's class. Thanks for your participation. Take care and sleep tight. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Take care. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.